stampers it's tina shaw from tinashaws.blogspot.com and i'm an independent stampin up demonstrator from fairborn ohio and today i made this beautiful well i think it's beautiful um tri-fold shutter card and i wanted to show you how i made this so it folds up like this and then it comes out like that, so it will stand alone. And here are all my panels. See the little trees, the cute little deer from Wishes and Wonders. This is from Wishes and Wonders set. The poinsettia petals, uh, die cuts. This is from In the Pines, cute little trees. I made a little moon, um, made like snow drifts down here. And then on the back, I um, put the little greeting back there and stamped a few more of In the Pines trees. So I thought it turned out pretty cute. Um, the cutting out is super easy um, of the card itself. And then um, I'll give you all the dimensions for all of the other uh, panels. Okay, let's get started. So I've got a piece of cardstock. This is Mossy Meadow, and I've cut it at five and a half by twelve. So you need a twelve by twelve sheet if you're making this particular card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my ruler on my trimmer, and I'm going to score this at two inches. Lift up my cutting blade here wasn't quite ready. Get this back on the two inches. Score. Four inches. Score. Eight inches. Score. And ten inches. And score. So, there's your four score lines. And then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to turn it the other way. And I'm going to line this up right to the edge of the trimmer where, they, um, where the ruler is on there. And I'm going to um, cut this from the first score line to the last score line. And this is at an inch and a half. Did you know when you put that paper all the way up to here in your trimmer that this is an inch and a half. So what I'm gonna do is get my scoring blade out of the way and then I'm gonna put this down at the two inch mark and then I'm gonna go all the way up to the ten. Okay. So now I'm gonna flip it over and I think I want this side though. And I'm going to put it again all the way to the edge of that paper ruler looking thing. And I'm going to start again at the 2, well it would be the 10 down here, 10 inch all the way to the 2 inch. And you know you've got these little marks right here on this um, cutting blade. And this is where the actual blade is. So if you take this cutting blade and the little line is right there, then that'll be at your two inch piece measure, whatever. Okay, so now my card is scored. And so what I wanna do is go ahead and fold. And I need a phone folder. And so this one, I'm gonna take this one up like a mountain fold. These two go down. Then my next one is gonna come up. Score. And then my next one will go down and up. And then this one will go which way, like that. It just kind of folds right into place. You really can't make it wrong. So, there is the card. 
see how already you've got your zigzag shapes. Okay, so now we've got the card ready to go. So now what I need to do is cut out my panels for all these little pieces. First, I want to go over with you the key that I made for all of the designer series papers. So what I've done is labeled A, B, C, D, E, and the um, size of each piece. For example, this one is C, which is three and three fourths by two and a fourth. That's C. And then you had two of those. And I should have four of these. And then this one would be B, because it is uh, one and three fourths by one and a fourth. And like I said, there's four. And then we've got the large piece, which is D, is three and three fourths by two and a fourth. And then I have um, one and three fourths by two and a fourth, which are these pieces here. And then I have two of A. Okay, there's one, and here is two. And it's really um, neater, I think, if you mix your paper a little bit more. At least two, maybe three. This time I've got three. My first one I only had two different colors, which I kind of like too. But I thought I would try three this time. And then, um, oh, and then I'm going to cut out two more pieces of white and then one's going to go in here which would be three and a half by two and then I'm going to put one over here um, like this one I put the poinsettia and then on the back side I just did the, the um, message so that's that's my um, DSP dimensions and guide for you and so I'm going to have this available on my blog spot and on YouTube. I've gone ahead and glued all of these um, DSP pieces down. And I think I said this one was, I told you the wrong uh, measurement. It is C and it's three and three fourths by um, one and a quarter not um, I think I said two and a quarter but it's only one and a quarter okay anyhow um, now what I want to do is to work on the deer and I've already gone ahead and cut out my parts and pieces this is um, the rectangle die one of the rectangle dies I think this one is about the third one in from the largest and then I cut out this cute little die which is in the Wishes and Wonder set, along with the deer, which is also in the Wishes and Wonder. And then I cut a piece of just Whisper White paper using one of the snow-like scape dies from the um, In the Pines set and the dies. Um, anyhow, there's a couple of different ones in here that we can use. Here's this one with the big ones, the big like mountains of drifts of snow. So anyhow, what I did first was I just cut off a piece that was two inches wide and then just um, however you want to have your snow going there. So I got a smudge on the back, so I guess I'll do it this way. <clears throat> so I'm just going to glue this down, leave that pretty little rickrack at the bottom. And I see I've got it just a smidgen over. So I'm going to trim that off before I go any farther. Just like that. Okay. And now I'm going to take my deer and I'm going to put the deer probably about right here in the snow 
And I'm just going to put adhesive on the deer because I really don't want him popped up. So I'm just going to put him about right there. Okay. And now I've cut out some of the pretty little greenery pieces. Since it is the same color, which is the um, mossy meadow, I'm going to just use a piece of um, scratch paper and I'm going to sponge it just a little bit. So I'm going to use my mossy meadow and I'm just going to take and just darken it up just a little bit like that. I want to make sure I have it on the right side. That's darkening in the. <laughs> I don't know if I used three or four. I only used three on my other piece, on my other card. Okay. So while I'm at it, I'm also going to shade my trees. And these were cut out with the in the pines dies and I cut out two of those there we go and then I'm gonna do just a little bit on my leaves I've already cut all these out ahead of time because that seems to take the most time for me putting my cards together. Okay, I thought I had one more leaf. Here he is. He was hiding. There. <clears throat> now, now I've got everything shaded, and so now I'm just going to put on my silicone mat. I love the silicone mat. This makes it so much easier to work with the glue. Okay, so I'm just gonna put like a couple, I think I put the glue a little up high here. My other ones I left a smidge in a room. Here we go. And just kind of tuck it in there. There, that shows up well. And then I'm gonna put another one. Rid of that glue that's sticking out there. Okay, there's a couple. And then I think I'll just add one more over here like I did the other one. Add the glue. When I do it like that, I just try to make sure that you can't see that glue from the top side. So I just usually take my fingers and punch it through there. Okay, so there are those. And now I'm, oh, I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take a piece of white scrap and I'm going to use this stamp that's in the Wishes and Wonder and I'm going to use my Real Red ink pad because my DSP is the heartwarming hugs which one of the colors is red red mossy meadow um, can't think of the others right off white oh I think pear pizzazz um, that might be it <clears throat> so anyhow once I do that you can either use the die if you don't have a circle punch to punch this out but I am using the one and a half inch circle punch to punch this out. I love using punches because they're just quick and easy. <clears throat> so let's put this on here and I don't think I popped that up, did I? Yes, I did. I popped it up with dimensionals. 
had to take a closer look. So I'm going to do this here. One in the center. It's got some glue on it there, which is okay because it's on the back. I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> There's that. But before I put this down on here, I'm going to take my little twine, my gold metallic twine and pull it through here so I'll be able to tie it. And then I'm just gonna center this piece onto here. And now I can tie this. First I just tie it once. And then I just loop it and make my bow. And then you just worry about that. Get your bow the way you want it, how big you want it. And then normally what I do is I'll just add a piece of, um, not a piece, but a glue dot. And I like to take my glue dot and just roll it between my fingers and then just lay it under the ribbon like that. Okay? So there's that piece. And then I took my circle that I just stamped and punched out. Okay, so I put on dimensionals on the back of that. And now I'm gonna pop that up over here. Look how cute. Okay, and now I think I'm gonna add those red rhinestones right there. Thank you, sir. My husband just walked in here with a glass of water for me, helping me out. <laughs> so then I'm just adding some red rhinestones. And this pack has, oh my gosh, a lot. I forget how many it says. 220. So they last a long time. And then I'm just going to put them on the little... I don't know if this is supposed to be, what's it called, mistletoe or something? <laughs> Not sure. One more. <clears throat> there. Cute. So there's that piece. <clears throat> and now what I'm going to do with that piece is I'm going to attach that to my panel on the front. Now, actually... It, um, on my first card, I made sure that I only did it on this half, but you actually could go ahead and glue it to that panel because that one is going to be pretty stationary open. So, if I do that there, and I want it this up here where you can see, I hope. There, and then I'm just going to do in the center a bit. Okay. So now I'm going to attach this. So now it's up here. There we go. And then center that <coughs> to about right. I think I want it right there. Nope, it needs to be over a smidge. Because now I'm centering it this way and then making sure that I didn't get any so if you do you want to make sure to take that off of there because I don't want it sticking when I open and close okay so look how cute it is already all right so now for my center I'm going to go ahead and do another poinsettia. I absolutely love the poinsettia stamp set. The pen, the it's just awesome. <laughs> so I have um, this one is actually cherry cobbler, and then this one is real red. And I mixed it on my other one, and I really liked it. 
So I'm going to take and put together my poinsettia. I'm going to add like a couple of glue dots. Just bend it just a little bit. I'm not going to rough it up with the bone folder. And then I want to stagger the petals. And now I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add a shiny. This is the red foil paper that we have right now that comes in a pack uh, 12 by 12. And you get two sheets of the red and two sheets of green. And it's beautiful. Okay, so there's that one. And so I'm going to add one more of that size in the cherry cobbler. I'm going to put a glue dot on the back. Actually, I think I want two because that one kind of puckered up a bit. So I'm going to put two. And then put that one on like that. Isn't that so cute? And then on the top, I think I'm just going to add... So I just want the cherry. I think I want... <clears throat> the shiny. Oh, look at that spin. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put this on here, staggered. And there is our poinsettia. How pretty! And for the poinsettia, I actually just glued that down with our glue dots again. Because I don't want a big big um, dimensionals there popping it up more because we've got quite a few layers of the uh, petals on here. So you want to try to turn this where it would be the least likely to interfere with the opening and closing. If it does, you can just curl your, car your um, poinsettia up just a bit. Okay, so there's my poinsettia. And now my leaves, I always like to just bend them. And I think I'm just going to use some seal. And I'm going to put one in here. And then another one here. And I'm just mostly putting this on the bottom half of the leaf. That one right there. Okay. Make sure I fold up here. It needs to be in just a wee bit more. And I have room. There we go. And now I should have one more leaf. Where did he go? Here he is. <laughs> they hide from me. One more on the other side. Okay, I think that looks good. And then I cut a couple of the little berry twigs out of the gold foil paper. Sheets, I guess it's called gold foil sheets. Knocked over that. And I'm going to get this back out because this one's a little harder to work with because it's so fine. And then I'm just going to put that right there. And actually, I'm thinking I might just cut this one totally off because he's going to get bent right there. Just snip him off. There we go. And then one more on the other side. It does not matter if there's glue sticking out there because it's going to be covered up. So again, I'm going to cut this one off right there. There. Gilded gems. The gold gilded gems. And I want the smallest ones. So I'm going to have to open a new pack. I use these like crazy <laughs> because they're so pretty. And then I'm just going to put a couple in here. Maybe 
three. Okay, so now I have that panel finished. And so now for my third panel on the front, I have cut another piece of the little um, background like snow scenery. I'll close this before I do something. And I'm going to stamp some snow drifts on this. And so this is just a smoky slate. And so I stamp off. It wants to pick it up. <laughs> and just do a few little marks there. And now when I glue this down, I'm going to glue at the bottom. And then I'm going to just put that right there. Just cover the bottom piece up like that. And now I'm going to take my trees that I cut out and you saw me shade these. So I'll this off too. And put this one down here. And then this one I went up farther. And so now I have also punched out a one and a half inch circle using my same circle punch that I used to uh, punch out the this the North Pole one. Night of Navy. And this one has too much ink on it. You just want to lightly go through. It's not so lightly. There you go. Kind of a blue moon. <laughs> blue hazy moon. So I'm going to put my moon about right there. And again, I'm going to just glue that down. So it'll be like behind the trees. About right there. So now I know where I want my trees to go. So I think this time I'm going to use the liquid glue. Just run it down the center. Maybe just so he's, the tip is on that one. And then this one, again, just go up the center. Oh, I got a little crazy. <laughs> and now I'm going to put this one so he's shaded more on there. Oh, isn't that so cute? I like it. Okay, so there's the front. And now, oh, I actually stuck this on. And you can do whatever um, message you want on here. But now I've already, I just put a little dab of snail on here. So I think I can pull that off without ripping my paper. Because I didn't want to lose it. So now let's put trees. And again I used the mossy meadow. And for sure... I'm going to stamp off because these are pretty dark ink. I'm just going to put a few here, make that one full strength. And then maybe one over here and another one. Okay, so there's that. Well, it didn't stick on cardstock, but it tried to stick on my scrap paper. Okay, so now with the stamp, may your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas. And I think I'm going to stamp this one in red just because I think it would be really pretty against those trees and the green card. Oh, cute! Okay, now if I can get that up without destroying it. <laughs> Do as I, don't do as I do. <laughs> okay, so close these up here. And the little trees were from In the Pines that I just stamped on here. And the verse is from what? Oh boy, let me think. It's from another set. But you could use any 
you know, any saying or verse from any stamp set that you want to. Okay, so here's my card. Finished. And there is the fold. There we go. No, because like, oh, for heaven's sakes. That. <laughs> like that. There we go. So there's that one that I put on the demonstrator planning page. Different colors. Both really cute. Love the cute little trees and the stamp sets. And anyway, let me know what you think. Tutorial. And um, don't forget to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then here's my blog, tinashaws.blogspot.com. My store, my Stampin' Up! store is tinashaw.stampinup.net. And if you need a demonstrator, I'm available. And I would love to help you with all your Stampin' Up! needs. So, thanks for joining me. See you soon. Bye.